Shalom, giving all praise and man, glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, and double on to the other apostles, the bishops, and brothers on the great millstone. Salutations to the whole feel like this is your brother, Rai, by Yamia, here to share another lesson. And the title of this lesson is Why Do Us Not Dull with your Bell? You know, got that from uh, Bell and the Dragon, which is a continuation of, um, you know, Daniel. You know, when he went into the lands, then. Uh, so the title would be in uh, Bell and the Dragon, chapter 1 and verse 4 at the end, right? You know, when I was reading this and the other day, I was just meditating about the situation uh, that he was in. You know, the Babylonians, you know, they had this god um, named Bell, right? Um, it's only one chapter, but, you know, it's a very, you know, interesting read. You know, um, and it, you know, depicts the time that we are living in now and uh, the days that we are about to come into. But anyway, to make a long story short, you know, um, you know, the Babylonians, they had this garden in Belt, you know, and um, when you're a reader, you're going to see that, you know, they, so they, they place the king and, they, they play, and the high priest, they place different um, foods and stuff um because they believe that Bell, um, you know, consumed the food, even though it was made of, um, like, clay and, um, you know, you know, metal. But Daniel told them that um, it's, it's not a living object, you know what I'm saying? It cannot uh, consume those things, even though they believed it, you know what I'm saying? However, Daniel was still, at that time, he was uh, still allowed to, to serve your house. Right, which is our living power. You know what I'm saying? But um, as you read later down in the um in the chapter when Daniel proved that Baal was not a living god and that the food or the sacrifices that they placed before the idol was being consumed by the high priests, their wives and their children, uh the pe the people they wanted um Daniel dead and they pretty much threatened the king that hey if you if you don't give us Daniel then we're gonna overthrow your house you know what I mean so too much truth was coming out so just as how Daniel was um you know bringing out the truth you know what I mean about the false god Bell <laughs> um, when you look at the truth today right the word has gone out through the four corners of the earth and there's a, a great awakening brothers are posting um, lessons videos every day so this word is going out and really it's too much truth you know what I mean this word is exposing Esauidum it, it is exposing Eve at the same time it is exposing uh, Amalek and the real truth of things so just as how you know you know when Daniel he was bringing out you know too much truth they can handle it so they wanted him to to be persecuted right and that that was one of the reasons why he ended up in the in the lion's den right so the word went out you know what i'm saying so as with us man you know what i'm saying um the family word is coming that persecution is coming because too much truth is uh coming out too much um things is is being revealed so there's gonna come a time where just as with daniel and many other prophets uh that time of you know spitting the truth as they say bringing all this word is gonna come to an end and we may be tried because remember he was you know he was um you know he was jailed right to be consumed by the lions and we would be um faced with many different persecutions um you know before the lord come so the first portion of script here I want to share. By the way, read it, man. Um, Bell and the Dragon, the first chapter. It's only one chapter. It's very good, interesting read, and it uh, help encourage you in the faith and um, you know get you ready um, for the times that we are about to come into. You know, after reading what happened to Daniel at the time. So the first portion of script here I'm gonna visit in this is in the book of Exodus, the twentieth chapter, and I'll read from verse one to five. It says, 
And uh, the Most High Yahweh speak all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make uh, unto thee any graven image, or any likeness, or anything that is in the heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water underneath the earth. Uh, thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I am the Lord thy God. Uh, I am a jealous God. Right? And I'll end it there. You understand? So most I commanded us not to have any God before him, which includes the image of the beast. Right? His philosophies, you know, his LGBT, uh, you know, agenda implanting ourselves with the sea hip you know whether it be of the brain or of the hand you know what i'm saying uh worship on this place celebrating holidays birthdays uh so on and so forth all right for all these things are uh, of idol worshiping especially the taking the motv for that is worshiping iso society um and his new you know world order most high is a jealous power you know what i'm saying he would destroy us for these things and um lastly um in the book of matthew the 10th chapter i'm gonna read from um verse 16 on down a little bit it says behold i send you forth a sheep in the midst of wolves be he therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. You know, so when you look at the situation in Daniel, when you read uh, Ben and Dragon, right? He was um, <coughs> taken up. You understand? Probably some of the men that he knew. You understand? They were like wolves um, before him. They wanted him uh, to be consumed by the lions, to be destroyed because he was bringing out too much truth. You understand? And the same thing is going to happen um, unto us. Those that teach your words and highways and byways that do these lessons, even a lot of you that listen. You know what I'm saying? You know, verse 18 it says, And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake. For the testimony against them and the gentiles right so the, these are us that uh teach a word on the highways and the byways and these freaking bugs man yeah so like yeah yeah so for those of us that teach you know the word on the highways and the byways you know these epistles and for those of you that listen uh, you'd have to give an account for, you know, the things that you receive. And those of us that teach, we have to give an account uh, for the things that we bring out. You understand? But continuing on, it says, uh, But when they deliver you up, take no thought uh, how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in, the, in that same hour what ye shall speak. And this is an encouraging word, man. This is Yahweh Shai. You know what I mean? So, when we are taken up, you know what I mean? Especially brothers that are slow of speech, as they say. The Most High is going to speak through them on their behalf. You understand? So, this is a promise that we won't have to worry. Like, what are we going to say? You know what I'm saying? Everything will be done and said through the Spirit. Verse 20. For it is not he that speak, but the Spirit. See? But the Spirit of your father right yahweh and yahweh Shai, which speaketh in you and the brother shall deliver up the brother to death and the father the child and the child and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death right so you know those, those that are close to us are women you know children you know the women that listen uh the husbands so on and so forth, man. So there be a lot of betrayals, um, you know, and stuff in these lives. People close to you, your co-workers, that probably know, 
you know, um, you're a Hebrew Israelite that probably see you reading your Bible in the corner. You know what I'm saying? You know? Because a lot of people, they know who we are. You know what I'm saying? And they wouldn't take no thought to throw us under the bus. Last verse, it says, uh, verse 22, And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endured uh, to the end shall be saved. Right? So just as Daniel, you know, he endured until the end, and most I uh, sent uh, sustenance for him. You understand? Um, we went into Habakkuk, right? Uh, the Lord sent an angel to use him to send sustenance for him. You know what I mean? So in the same way, uh, we need to endure until the end. You understand? And as you all see, Daniel, he was delivered from the lion's den. Where uh, the others, the wicked that wanted him dead, they were immediately consumed by the lions when they were put in the in the cage on the den. You know what I'm saying? So this is a very edifying um uh, book, you know, Bear and the Dragon. You know, so now when you think about, you know, the persecution and deliverance, it brings hope to us because we know that the Most High is not going to utterly destroy us. You know what I'm saying? This is a very good reading and it was on my mind to bring it out. You know, I was put the title, you know, uh, Why Do Us Not Thou Worship Bell? You know, son, then the response is because he, are, he have a living power. And why do us not do I worship the MOTB? Right? It's because we have a living power, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So it's all within this quick um, lesson that I had on my mind. Is that the final thing? Until the next time, Shalom.